Mathematics may not teach us to add love or subtract hate, but it gives us hope that every problem has a solution. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to talk about National Mathematics Day. As Shakuntala Devi has rightly said, without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. So without wasting time, let's talk about the Srinivasa Ramanujan, who is also known as the man who knew infinity. Ramanujan was born on December 22, 1887 in Iro, Tamil Nadu. At age 12, despite lacking a formal education, he had excelled at trigonometry and developed many theorems by himself. Ramanujan became eligible for scholarship to study at the government's art college after finishing secondary school in 1904. But he was unable to obtain one due to his poor performance in other areas. Living in dire poverty, Ramanujan then pursued independent research in mathematics. Ramanujan was soon noticed in Chennai's mathematics circles. Ramanujan single-handedly discovered the modern number system and made advancements in various fields like fractions, calculus and analytic geometry. Ramanujan then began sending his works to British mathematicians. His breakthrough arrived in 1913 when the Cambridge-based G. H. Hari wrote back. Impressed with Ramanujan's theorems and work related to infinite series, Hari called him to London. In 1914, Ramanujan arrived in Britain, where Hari got him into Trinity College. In 1917, Ramanujan was elected to be a member of the London Mathematical Society. In 1918, he also became a Fellow of the Royal Society, becoming one of the youngest to achieve the feat. The number 1729, also known as Hadi Ramanujan number, is unique because it is the smallest number expressed as a sum of two different cubes in two alternate ways. Ramanujan could not get used to the country's diet and returned to India in 1919. Ramanujan's health continued to fall and he died in 1920 at the age of 32. After his death, Ramanujan left behind three notebooks and some pages containing unpublished results, on which mathematicians continued to work on for many years. In 2012, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh declared December 22 as National Mathematics Day. The achievements of great mathematicians are discussed on this day to pay tribute to him. Lastly, I would say, don't fear for facing failure in the first attempt because even the successful math starts with zero only. <laughs>